Well, it's been deteriorating all week. I haven't had an update overnight, and we are now at the point where there is that blackout and the generators have gone, so I'm not sure we're going to get anything, which is terrifying, of course. Um, so it's been getting from bad to worse for a while. We lost a, a family member who desperately needed a hospital just a few weeks ago and, and wasn't able to, to get out. But the escalation really began on Tuesday. Um, there was shooting. They reported seeing white phosphorus. Um, they were obviously terrified. They all went back into sort of the Sunday school rooms in the complex in the Latin church where they are. And uh, they uh, then heard that the janitor had been shot, the bin collector had been shot, and this was from forces who were outside at that stage. Um, then about 48 hours ago, it escalated yet again. There are three generators, two of them had already stopped working, so already there was dwindling electricity uh, to charge their phones to communicate what was happening to them. Um, but the third uh, caught fire. Um, we understand that that was because soldiers had, had hit it. Uh, they managed to put the fire out, um, but that was the generator that pumped any water. Already they were drinking contaminated water, they were down to sort of a meal a day. But this was sort of the last straw. So so the, the last and we how, heard uh, is that now they are without water, without food, and there is a sniper inside the compound. Um, there's a woman and a, her daughter who have been killed, and what's been happening is as they try and leave their rooms, say to go to the toilet or something, um, there is firing at them.